Good morning from the soldiers, airmen, and civilians of the Maryland Military Department. We welcome you to the opening of the Maryland State Firemen's Association Virtual Convention. It's an honor to be addressing you all, especially during these challenging times. I want to thank the first responders who have gone above and beyond to help carry our citizens through this pandemic. Thank you, President Walker, for your leadership. I congratulate you on the association's 129th anniversary and on the accomplishments and commitment. The Maryland Military Department has been pleased to partner with the association to administer the AMOS Fund and the Volunteer Company Assistance Fund over the years. Soon our relationship will change. MEMA has been part of the Maryland Military Department for 32 years. In October, they will become an independent entity, the Department of Emergency Management. MEMA and the Guard will continue to serve together in times of need. The Maryland National Guard and MSFA continue to share a common link in that many who serve in the Guard are also volunteer emergency personnel. The Maryland National Guard has many firefighters in our ranks and I'm pr proud to be joined by two of them today. I'm Lieutenant Colonel Dan Collins, a firefighter EMT from the Winfield Community Volunteer Fire Department. And I'm Specialist Alton Bowyer, a firefighter from the Owens Mills Volunteer Fire Department. We are proud to serve our nation, state, and communities as volunteer first responders. We bring the discipline, skill, and experience that we have developed through our military training to our communities through our service as first responders. And in return, our volunteer services increases our value to the Maryland National Guard, especially in times of emergency. Our routine work across the fire and medical disciplines, along with our interaction with police, public works, and utilities, make it easier for us to work across interagency lines during a National Guard response to hazardous weather, civil disturbances, and public health emergencies. I'm proud to serve with these impressive first responders. Thank you, Lieutenant Colonel Collins and Specialist Boulware. They and many others have been crucial to the fight against COVID-19 and in protecting our democracy. Your services to communities is a comfort that we are all extremely grateful for. Again, on behalf of all the service members and the employees of the Maryland Military Department, thank you for what you do to protect the citizens in the great state of Maryland. I wish you all a very successful convention.